Our next question is from Adeshek, and he the question is how to fight better. The context is about the things you care about. He says, with my partner, my wife mostly, it's a relationship I care about immensely, and it's the only relationship where I want to actively address or confront disagreements because I feel just letting go or pushing things under the rug will ruin this beautiful thing. And I feel preserving honesty is an important factor. But oftentimes when we confront each other, we end up in shouting matches. We both love each other and would like better tools to navigate through disagreements. Abhishek, um, again, I'm not a relationship therapist or anything. I do recommend you get one, but I'll tell you what I've done. I'm a, I'm in a 34 year relationship with my boyfriend. Okay. I met him when he was 19, I was 20 and now he's 53 and I'm 54. And we got married 30 years ago this summer. And, um, we've had our share of fights, of course, and we've had moments of great or years of great joy. And then years of like, oh my God. And that was when kids came. We're like, oh my God, like, you know, ships passing in the night, little snippy arguments. And, um, and we're in a place now of just, man, things have never been better and things were great. So now we're like here, but took a lot of work. And I think the work is less about the fighting and more about the noticing. Let me put it this way in the, let me finish my sentence and then put it this way. It's more about noticing the person and developing a gratitude practice that I promise you will make your fights easier. And let me reframe it as in the workplace, we know when we're trying to give an employee feedback, they need to hear five positive things to be able to handle the one critical thing. So that's what the research shows, I believe five to one. So if now you're in your primary relationship with your partner, they need to hear five positive things. And so do you to be able to deal with the negative thing. All right. So this is what my partner, Dan, and I do. We have a gratitude practice where we have this little framed statement in our bathroom. It's a little frame you could buy at the drugstore. Behind it is a statement that's, uh, that's typed out. It says, I love you because colon. And then there's a line printed. You put that behind glass, put it in your bathroom, have a dry erase pen you fill in the line. Okay? Mm. We have exchanged this thing. This is a way of expressing gratitude to your partner, noticing, I see you. We must have exchanged this thing 2000 times by now. Okay. He'll write something a few days later. I'll write something a few weeks later. He'll say something like, it doesn't have to be every day. Okay. When you feel it, but you get better at knowing I need to, I need to say something. It could be like, I love you because you might say, uh, you snaked the, the shower drain. <laughs> You stopped at the grocery store on the way home. You were so kind to my mother last night. Or you look damn good in those jeans, <laughs> right? Or I love you because you came home. And when we've had a fight and somebody storms out and you start to resolve it, you know, I know I've written that you came back because, right? That's a way to shore up the relationship so that fights are better. In terms of how to actually fight better, it's active listening not getting, you know, not being so sure that you're right, that you just have to impress upon them how dumb they are, stupid or wrong, right? That doesn't, that's not love, right? Love is listening. Love is allowing room for the other person to be smarter than you, more correct than you. And forget all that. Love is allowing room for the other person to have needs too, that are just as valid as yours. Mm -hmm. And getting into a dialogue space where you're like, look, let's talk about what's going on. I want to say what I think. I want to hear what you think. I want us to better understand each other. You are having a misunderstanding and somebody's not feeling valued somewhere. Somebody's feeling overlooked. So the gratitude practice will help you minimize the degree to which either of you is feeling overlooked. And then being in dialogue in the actual fight where you're really making room for each other to be listened to in that active listening way. I was trying to model in the answer to the question much earlier about how do I talk to my parents about um, you know something that we disagree about. Active listening is key and your therapist will teach you that and it can feel a little clunky at first, but it's a super valuable tool.